Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to explore different transformations of the absolute value of x using both vertical and horizontal transformations. So first of all, this red function right here is our parent function f of x. Now, you can see this point 1, 1. To go to this function here, which is g of x, or the absolute value of 2 times x, let's look at what happens vertically. Let's focus on the vertical part here. I can tell that um, as I drag this slider around, it'll move the point, right? You see that? As I move it this way, now look at the vertical point, you might notice the height has doubled. And then to get to the green function up here, we double again. And I'm looking at this number right here. It's a 4, whereas I go backwards now, it goes divided by 2 to 2, and then divided by 2 again to 1. So vertically, let's just say it, what we're seeing, to go from the parent function, the absolute value of x, to the absolute value of 2x, to 4 times the absolute value of x, we're just doubling the height over and over again. Horizontally, now let's look at these points horizontally, we are compressing our function towards the y-axis, so we're dilating it horizontally by 1 half. Right, you can see this point is now at 1 half 1 instead of 1 1, it's gone half the distance so here's the y-axis, it's gone half the distance towards the y-axis, and then we do it again. We cut that in half, and we get to h of x. So um, in terms of transformations in this visual right here, we can cut our parent function in half twice to get to h of x. And if our question were focusing on, let's say, just g of x to h of x, and the transformations, there are two quick ways we can describe it verbally, and then I'll show the algebra. Here's g of x. So here's the vertical point I'm tracking, and here's the horizontal. To get from g of x to h of x, we're just doubling the height once and halving um, the horizontal distance from the y-axis uh, once as well. So I'll say that again. It's a vertical dilation by 2, or you can view it as a horizontal dilation by 1 half. Let's see what that looks like here. Right? You can watch it vertically by uh, 2 and horizontally by 1 half. And that's the connection between these two things. And that might make a little bit of sense because you've got a 2 here and a 4. So there's some opportunities for doubling or halving. So let's make sense of that. And I'm going to type this out because my stylus is not working right now. So I'm going to type some algebra so that you can see what's going on. So we have g of x equals the absolute value of 2x. And then we have h of x equals 4 times the absolute value of x. And there's a really important property uh, with absolute value. And that says that uh, the absolute value of, let's say, two factors, a times b, is the same thing as the absolute value of a times the absolute value of b. So if you have two numbers and you're multiplying them, you could take the absolute value of that product, but that will be the same thing as the absolute value of each individual factor. So as a number example, let's just do a quick number example, th uh, negative 3, let's say, times 4. Now the absolute value of negative 3 times 4 is the same thing, as the absolute value of negative 12, which is just 12. But according to this up here, as you'll see it work out, we could split this. So we could take the absolute value of negative 3, multiply it by the absolute value of 4, and what will that get us? Well, the absolute value of negative 3 is just 3, and the absolute value of 4 is just 4, and you can see it gets us the same result. It gets us 12. That's going to be helpful to us so that we can see algebraically how to transform these things. So um, as a string, I'm going to write a string here. I'm going to say that this is the same thing as the absolute value of 2 times the absolute value of x. And that equals 2 times the absolute value of x. Now that is a little bit easier to see. If I take this and double it, I will get h of x, right? So I'll write that here. So if I take, this is g of x written in a different way, right? g of x equals this, that's what it is. So if I take g of x and double it, so 2 times g of x, I'm going to get um, h of x. I'm going to get 4 times the absolute value of x, and I'll substitute that in here. 2 times g of x is 2 times the absolute value of x. And what does that equal? Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and you can see it more clearly that that is the absolute value, uh, that is the h of x function. So um, if we start at g of x, we can take g of x here, 
and multiply it by two. So that's a vertical dilation by two to get to h of x. And that's what we were seeing here in this picture. We were um, seeing that vertical right there. We're doubling the height of it to get to h of x. But the other thing that can happen is that we're cutting, um, that we have a horizontal scale factor of one half. So let's, let's try to look at that algebraically. Um, so, so how can we do that? Well, right here, right now, um, right now we are, uh, we, we're multiplying by two here uh, on the input. But what we want to do is cut that in half horizontally, uh, cut g of x in half. And what that will, what that should do at least, is get us to h of x, okay? And again, that's what we're seeing here in the graph. Here's, here's, oh, I drag, I'm dragging the wrong slider around, I don't know. Okay, start over. Um, here is g of x, here is h of x. So if you look at it horizontally, we can compress g of x by one half or dilate it by one half on the horizontal axis and that will give us h of x. So let's figure out how to do that. Okay, so, so how do we do that? Well, um, again, with horizontal dilations, if I want to compress it by one half, what do I have to do? Well, I have to multiply by the reciprocal of one half, which is two. And if I do this, and actually let me, let me do some good notation here. Um, let me start this over here. How, let me show you what I mean. So I, wanna, I want to uh, compress it by one half. I wanna dilate it horizontally by a factor of one half. So I need to put a two in my input. That's what I'm saying right here. 2 is now going to be uh, part of our input, and that will actually dilate it by 1 half. The rule is to dilate by the reciprocal of that, and the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. So what will that be? Well, 2x is our input, and this function says, whatever your input is, take the absolute value of twice that. So we're going to do that. So here's the absolute value of 2 times this input. So it's 2, sorry, 2 times 2x. And what does that equal? Well, two times two is four, right? So if the absolute value of four x, but again, this property over here comes in hand. We could rewrite this as the absolute value of four times the absolute value of x. And the absolute value of four is just four. And we're multiplying that by the absolute value of x. And that is h of x right there, okay? So we started at g of x. If we double the input, right? with a two, we will dilate it horizontally by one half. Whereas um, the other way to get there, I'll just write it again, is to take g of x and multiply it by two. And what that will get us, I'll, I'll show them side by side, g of x is the absolute value of two x, and we are literally doubling that, so it's two times the absolute value. And our manipulation, we can get this two out of there using that absolute value product uh, property down here, and that will again get us four times the absolute value of x. And notice the answers are here are equivalent. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this graph that we can get from g of x to h of x going horizontally or vertically. All right, I hope this helped.